Welcome back to the world of Grappleis. In this video, we'll introduce you to Ares, the god of war. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel to make sure you're always up to date with the latest news from Grappleis. As news spread across the Aegean of the deeds of Aphrodite's followers, the followers of Ares back their god to bless their warriors with his presence in the world of Grappolis. Not being one to leave a challenge unanswered, Ares will soon come smashing down to your cities. As the god of war, Ares brings with him unparalleled tactical and military knowledge, which he will lend to his disciples, helping them to crush their enemies in his name. Much like Aphrodite, Ares will at first only be available on newly opened worlds, so keep your eyes out for your chance to give him a try. Ares brings with him four new spells and two new mythical units. However, he also comes with his own unique resource in addition to favor. Keep watching to find out more. To begin with, let's talk about Ares' unique resource, Fury. Fury works similarly to God Favor, only it does not generate gradually. Fury can be gained by using Ares' spells to sacrifice units in his name. Fury can be used in combination with his offensive spells for devastating results and is capped at a maximum of 5000, meaning you have the opportunity to unleash some truly punishing attacks on your enemies with the might of Ares at your side. To really understand Fury, we should take a look at the spells available in Ares' arsenal. Ares' spells, with the exception of Ares' Sacrifice, cost both Fury and God Favor. Ares' Sacrifice is a spell which you can cast on any of your own cities. Doing so will sacrifice up to 100 populations worth of non-mythical units. For each point of population sacrificed, you will receive one point of Fury added to your pool. Bloodlust is a powerful spell with catastrophic consequences for your enemies. When cast on an attack, it consumes 50% of your current fury and enhances the offensive ability of all attacking units in the attack by 5%, plus an additional 1% for every 200 fury available. This means with maximum fury, you can buff your units by a staggering 30% and annihilate your foes. Not only this, Bloodlust also allows Ares to reward warriors who made the ultimate sacrifice in his honor. 50% of your dead unit's population return to you as fury once the battle has ended. Spartan training can be cast on a city, accelerating recruitment orders in your barracks by 70%, plus an additional 1% for every 100 fury available. This spell lasts for 6 hours on a speed 1 world. Last and by no means least is Ares' most powerful spell, Ares' Army. This spell is one which you can use to decimate your enemies, but at a high cost. Ares' army is cast on an attack and consumes the entire fury pool. For every 10 fury available, one Spartoi is added to the offensive command. We'll learn more about Spartoi later, but for now, it's important to understand that at maximum fury, this means Ares' army can add 500 Spartoi to a single attack. If used tactically, this spell could be used to decimate your enemy's defenses. But be careful, Ares' army can be purified by followers of Artemis, so use it wisely. So that's all for Ares' spells, we hope they go a long way to giving you an edge over your enemies. Let's move on and take a look at his units. Ares calls forth the unparalleled powers of two mythical beasts to fight alongside his warriors, the Spartoi and the Laden. Spartoi represent the extreme sacrifice made by Ares' most devoted followers, a land unit with low population count that are great for looting. They also have the unique passive ability that they collectively only take one space and transport ships. With enough tactical finesse, these units can turn the tide of battle, removing the reliance on transport ships to reach your foes. Ladon, a mythical dragon with 100 heads, a sprawling mass of raw power, completes Ares' arsenal of creatures and spells. These terrifying creatures are rarely seen on the battlefield and strike fear into the hearts of their enemies when they appear on the horizon. With a population cost of 180, these gargantuan beasts are the largest units in all of Grappolis. 
a powerful flying unit which offers followers of Ares a unique and destructive passive ability, but at a high cost. Without their passive ability, they are a fast unit with high offensive power, but Ladons don't enjoy an easy fight. They prefer a challenge and reward those who take risks, attacking targets with higher population than the combined population of all Ladons in the attack triggers the passive ability. For every 10 population difference, Ladon's offensive power increases by 30% up to a maximum of 150%. Additionally, the staggering power of Ladon's also increase the offensive abilities of those who fight alongside them. All other units in the attack gain an additional 1% attack power for every Ladon in the command, up to a maximum of 10%. With the right planning and strategy, Ladons can be used to clear an enemy's city ready for a conquest, or even to defensively destroy an enemy's conquest on your own city. Use them wisely. We hope you're as excited about Ares' arrival in your city as we are, and we're looking forward to reading your feedback in the comments down below or on the Grappler's forums. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a like. See you in-game.